Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a film about characters facing difficult decisions and the consequences of the choices they make. Because many of those characters are apes, the visual effects team had to create apes that were as nuanced and believable as the humans with whom they would share the screen. The filmmakers cast talented actors to play the ape characters, and then they had them play the scene on set with the human characters. This meant that the director could shoot the movie in a traditional fashion, working with the actors on set to refine their performances and craft the scene. It also meant that the visual effects team had to invent more robust performance capture equipment, equipment that could work on set in extreme conditions like rain, sleet, and snow. We developed wireless technology for our witness and motion capture cameras, which allowed us to work quickly in wild environments without the burden of cabling. We also re-engineered the active performance capture markers that go on the actors' bodies, encasing them in rubber and plastic to make them more stunt resistant while still being readable in daylight conditions. Our performance capture tools did a great job of recording what the actors did on set, but it recorded the actors in their human form. We had to take their human motion and translate it onto our ape characters, which have much longer arms and shorter legs than their human counterparts. Also, the facial anatomy of an ape is quite different from a human's, and it was a constant challenge for the animators to figure out how to interpret some of the actors' face shapes and then apply them to their ape characters. We didn't have markers on fingers and toes, so our artists keyframed those details manually using video reference as a guide. Similarly, there was no automated process for capturing flying sweat and spittle or the welling tears and redness in the actors' eyes as the scenes turned emotional. We added those nuances manually as well, based on careful observation, and in the process, we overhauled our eye model and materials. We paid careful attention to the fur and skin of the apes. We developed new software and techniques to create pelts of fur on our characters that were far more sophisticated and detailed than any characters we'd done before. The fur on some characters approached one million individual strands of hair. Because much of the film is set in the rain, we developed new techniques for colliding raindrops with the fur and running the water beads through the fur and down the skin. Some shots contain more than a thousand apes, so managing all of that complexity became critically important. In addition to the title characters, we also created the Apes Forest Village and a post-apocalyptic incarnation of San Francisco. Only a handful of shots were actually photographed in San Francisco. In those cases, we used the photography as a jumping-off point, but we extensively rebuilt the environment by projecting degradation and greenery onto reconstructed geometry. And then we added 3D vines, plants, trees, and damaged vehicles, all animated, lit, and rendered to provide high-quality interaction between the apes and the environment. For our completely digital San Francisco environments, we started from over a mile of LiDAR data from the actual city, and then we built a virtual California street that we could degrade, vegetate, and tear apart as required in our shots. In addition to all the big mortar impacts, the smoke trails, muzzle flashes, and spark hits that our effects team added, they also created a giant slow-motion wall of fire through which Koba jumped his horse. For the unfinished skyscraper above the human colony, we referenced real skyscrapers from South America and Asia that were halted mid-construction. We designed and dressed the tower with attention to all the skeletal structures, the formwork, the machinery, and debris that you find in modern tower construction sites. Those details grounded the set in reality, and they gave us a dramatic backdrop that enhanced the drama of Caesar and Coba's final confrontation.